Hello YouTube, my name is Kichen. Welcome back to some more Dominions 5. This is Dominions 5. You say, no, Kichen, this doesn't look like Dominions 5. Well, we are in a tabletop simulator mod uh, that I have made. This is going to be a lattice mashup war, war room, uh, is what I'm calling it. Uh, right now we're looking at a little uh, drawing table that I've set up where I can do all my planning and stuff like that. We have gems from every school. Like water, earth. Oh, earth is here. Fire and water. Um, this is this mod that I'm gonna show you guys is for lattice, and it is for lattice. I've made it specifically with the game that I advertised a few months ago, the EAD game. And let me just uh, say that even if you are in that game, you are allowed to watch this video. I won't be showing anything spoilerish, except the war room itself. Now I, I wouldn't. I wanted to give credit to the creator of the lattice map, and I cannot. Uh, I don't know the name of the guy, and he apparently isn't around anymore. The guy who uploaded the, the map to the Steam Workshop is, uh, states that it is not his map, but whatever. Uh, I want to get credit to Death Tactics though for the idea of creating this uh, workshop, or Steam Workshop, Steam Tabletop Simulator Workshop mod for the as a war room. He did that in one of his series. It was super awesome, and I couldn't not do it for my own campaign here. Uh, and I, I, I've used, I've stolen, like, I've been through a hundred different mods or more, I'm not kidding, looking for different assets like these ones here. All kinds of different things, mod miniatures for each nation and whatever, and I've just scrounged all the things I could get and put it into my own mod. I can't give credit to every one of them. First of all, there's like, so many mods and they all borrow from each other so let, let me just say that the tabletop simulator uh, workshop community is awesome and i'm going to be uploading this uh, my finished mod here uh, when i'm done with it and have polished it a bit more so we're going to make it bigger and better and create the legend of lattice together without further ado i'm going to show i'm a little bit excited here this is the world of Lattice, and I have already introduced it on my channel, but we'll go through it again. Lattice is a planet. Oh, it's created by Joseph... Joseph Buthian. Thank you for creating the world of Lattice, Joseph. This is the world of Lattice. The world of Lattice is a planet, a fantasy world in here. So the planet is surrounded by eight planes, spheres, of uh, magic that floats through the ether, each representing one of the uh, schools or types of magic in the world of Dominions 5. So we'll be going through all of them. I've made little different effects. Uh, most of these effects that you see are from a uh, specific mod called Lightnings and Effect, who would have thunk. And there's just so many cool things. Like I have a tornado here in the airplane Aries and there's a sort of a cold front blowing this uh, making the whole reason why this thing is frozen is of course because of this cold front there's a little lightning storm and we have these clouds of smoke coming up uh, there's this these uh, cubes that you see inside we have to look at them those are the things that create the effects we have a little thing here and that's a throne of ascension I have chosen to use these uh, little figurines to represent the thrones in the current game that we are playing. And they also have a lightning effect that sort of switches on and off. <laughs> but it makes should make it easier for you guys to find it um, when we look at the map as a whole. Now if we move on to Terra. Terra was a little bit harder to find uh, good assets for. We have these green tentacle things that come out of the ground. Some smoke clouds as well. I gave it a nice big tower of stone because it is plain of stone and they have this, these little glowing crystals. Uh, each plane has a corresponding gate that leads to the main world. Uh, here's the gate for Terra leading on to Lattice. Here's the corresponding number seven and it has a little bit of effect as well. It's, it'll be the same over here uh, on the gate. There's a little bit of a smoke cloud here. So that's sort of what that is. We move further to the west, if you can even say that, outside in the spheres of magic here. 
Uh, we have the realm of Magus, and Magus is flowing with magic. It is the plane of the astral magic type, and it has this glowing sphere in the middle. It's oozing with different types of magic. There's little sprites flowing around, and we have a tornado of magical energy that is blowing here. And the gate itself is also covered with these little sprites. Now the, the plane of Natura has the uh, mother oak, of course, in the center. And a lot of little uh, trees around, some potted plants. We have little spikes and some sort of uh, oozing fog uh, in the forest here. So pretty cool. We'll just pretend that this tree lying down here is the shadow of the real tree. Uh, we have a bit of a orb that I found to put in the center. Sorry, the corner. Now if we move up here, it gets a little bit darker. Uh, this is the realm of Cruento, the blood realm, land of demons. Now Cruento is flowing with magical blood and these tentacles, monsters that are roaming around. It's covered in blood, there's a tombstone up here and these magical uh, ominous runes are dotting the landscape. Uh, there's even a little guillotine here. Why not? We move east of that. There is the we find the realm of Aqua. Aqua is the realm of water. Everything here is underwater territories. And to represent Aqua, I have chosen to make two waterfalls: one flowing from the ether into Aqua itself, and then from Aqua, water will flow further on into lattice and that uh, i believe is what creates the oceans on lattice the gate itself is splashing with water as well this one was a little bit harder to find good uh, assets for as well but these i like these waterfalls though flama flama is uh lighted up by two uh, i think these are warcraft elves probably statues with flames on them brassiers and then it's oozing with, uh, like it's smoldering, I guess, with flames and smog, creating a rather well, well lit area of the map. And the gate of Flama down here has a little bit of fire. This could have more fire. There's, uh, by the way, there's mountains. I've sort of represented these uh, impassable areas on the map with actual mountains. We move east of that and then. The final realm, oopsie, this one needs to be locked. The realm of Decius, death and smog and toxic green flames, dead trees plot the landscape. And this is not a place you want to be unless you like that sort of thing. And then that's all of it. Oh, we have banana for scale. Throw that away. Go away. It never, never really goes away though. Let's see. So that's the world of Lattice. Um, yeah. These are all the extra assets that I've found. We can turn on the UI a little bit. Oh, oh, hit him. Oh. I've made a little demonstration up here of what's to come. This is not representative of anything that's in the actual game. Every This little rainbow of bags, you might wonder what that is. Uh, I showed already the water gems. I'm not sure if I'd be using these actual gems for anything, but I'll find the use maybe. But all these rainbow gem uh, bags here are one for each nation. We have 21 nations in this game. Uh, and I've color coded them, because why not? It looks pretty. And the point is, every bag is populated by miniatures that I have found from different mods that correlate to each of these different factions in some way. So, uh, like... Machaka has a spider miniature, and probably more like that. This is, uh, I don't know what you are. Okay, not a, it's not perfect. Sauromatia will have lizards in it, indeed. Different lizard figures that I can use when I want to uh, populate the map with their, uh, to represent where they are. TNN for Tionarnok, Cetis, more lizards. Pretty much the same as Sauromatia, I suppose. Lanka has a bunch of demons. Now you say, okay, that's the wrong color keychain. Well, that's why I like these uh, non-textured miniatures, because I can just go in 
and say, now this guy is a Lanka caller, and oh, he's a nice devil. Well, now he's a Lank Lanka demon. So there you go. That's how that works. Uh, you hear right here we have I have uh, a bag full of just pretender chassis and then 177 extra units that I didn't really categorize so generic units we also have feature models unassigned and effects so what then what then we have I have something that I actually need uh, would like at a second opinion on so if anyone has an opinion, they're welcome to share it. Now, what I'm talking about is the way to represent forts, labs, and temples on the map, because that's not an easy choice. Uh, my initial choice were these guys here. These are forts, but I kind of like uh, this one as well because it's color. So I can change this one's color. I cannot change this one color. So if, if we use this one for forts, uh, they're all gonna be the same. These two different ones are uh, other versions of forts that we can try to use. And then we have labs for labs. These are the only three I can really use for forts, by the way. Uh, I have other forts like this one here. This one was really amazing and I wanted to use it for, for the series as forts, but this is the smallest it will go. Uh, and you can imagine that this one will probably not fit in every territory. So. You cannot use this specific model, and there's um, a lot of these big, too big castle things. This little fort here can fit in most squares, same with these. Now for labs, I have this little thing here, and then a sort of a microscope thing. This one I like because it looks a lot like the icon in the actual game, same with this one, I suppose. And then we have a little forge thing as a lab as well, which is kind of cool. I think I had one more for labs. Might have been this one or that one or whatever. For temples, it becomes a little bit more complicated. I like this one, especially if we are going with this theme here. Uh, I like that this lab fits into the fort. So once you've got a fort and a, uh, a lab in the same province, they sort of stack, which is nice. And it's very visual. Uh, the temples won't go in there, I think. No, but I like this one for the same reason that it's colored and it sort of it sort of follows the theme here. But I have found enough different uh, types of figurines that I can probably assign one for each, not each nation, but like uh, one for the Greek nations and one for the fire nations and one for the demon nations and I don't know this might be for the elf nations this could be for Ulm and the other viking nations stuff like that now, this is uh, from what's it called the Warhammer 40k Necron race temple here we have temples there so many different types of temples uh, available this could be a temple I think we have more over here, like a pyramid, more uh, a Bissia theme thing. This could be a temple. Uh, a lot of things could be temples, really, if you want to have a look at that kind of thing. Boom, there's uh, explosions. Everything. We have everything, people. You would even use sort of some sort of statue, which I have plenty of, to represent the temples and yeah this could be a lab I don't know huh. I lose my train of thought when I think about this map I spend a lot of hours making this good I'm gonna be using it in the series when I'm um, moving through it um, what else I think there was something else I wanted to mention here let's see I actually wrote a list Right, if there are any other players from this uh, game that are watching, if you, if you are watching and you think this is cool, then I have already uh, been promised a turn file from one of the other players, and he will allow me to go into one of his specific turns, and he has a battle that he wants me to cover for the series, which is really, really cool. I sort of build the legend beyond what I, my own game and just sort of show the game from multiple different angles. 
Um, don't send me files uh, until the game is over, but if you are up for it, we can sort of talk about it. And after the game is over, you just mark down the turn and what battle you want me to cover, whatever. I'm happy to do it. We can sort of build this whole legend yeah, around Lassus. It's going to be epic. Can't put it any other way. I'm tempted to start every episode sitting over here in the bleachers, <laughs> like this. You can throw the banana off the board and it respawns, because you can't get rid of bananas. I think that's sort of it for this time, and let me know if anyone has an opinion on what types of assets to use for Forge Labs and Temples. Uh, I'm interested to hear people's opinion. Uh, same with... I guess I have sort of already found enough figures for the nations. And the cool thing about this, if I can uh, dilly dally a little bit more, is that I can copy all of this and then save it. I can just basically change the map, and the next time I run a series, if I feel so inclined at least, I can just take all of these backs and make new one for new nations if necessary and use them for a different game to do another war room and so on and so forth. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's reusable was my point. And I don't know if I already mentioned it, but I will be uploading uh, this mashup to the uh, mod that, uh, the uh, the tabletop simulator Steam Workshop community page. That's all for this time, folks. I hope you enjoyed my little introduction to the world of Lattice. Stay tuned for more. More Dominions coming even before this one. This one won't be coming out for a long, long time. But there will be other things coming. So yeah, see you then.